Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in The Sims 4, we're gonna be with our legacy family in the new world of Tomarang. So things have changed a little bit, but currently our tenant, our only tenant, is gardening for us, you guys. He's taking care of the garden. He just planted something. He's planting his own things in my garden, you guys. I don't love that. I, I'm okay with him taking care of the garden for us, but now he's taken the liberty of planting something, a mushroom. Hold on though, we just got a notification that we have a trash overload here in Two Rokaya Rockside, which is our only unit right now. Denzel is our tenant. That's where he lives. The unit is drowning under a mountain of trash. Visit the unit to sort out the problem or call a contractor crew over the phone. But here's the thing, we have a rule against trash overload, so we may have to find Denzel here. I don't know how that's gonna go. I guess Johnny's gonna have to head over there. But Jackson also has his first loose tooth. He's a little behind um, Poppy, but he officially has a loose tooth, which is nice. He's catching up with everybody else. I'm gonna go on and wake Johnny up though, and let's head over here. I think I gave Denzel a trash can. I feel like I remembered the trash can this time. Also, it's Alston's birthday today, you guys. He's aging up to a teen. Okay, it looks like right off the bat, I have the option out here to call for trash removal which is gonna cost me 200 simoleons. There's trash there as well. Is there trash inside the house as well? Uh, there is, look at that, you guys. That's ridiculous. How do we post a fine? How do I find him for this? I guess we are gonna have to call for trash removal, but I also want to find him. Thanks for calling instant trash removal. We remove trash in the blink of an eye. Your service person should already be there. Well, they're not. Nobody's here. Oh, here he comes. Hold on, here he comes. You're going to the wrong lot, man. There's no trash over there. We can snoop on the mailbox. I'll let Jade work on that. All right, are you gonna get the trash, sir, please? Okay, he got it. Now we have more. We have more trash. And I still don't know how to find him for it. Do I have to talk to him? Maybe I have to talk to Denzel. Is he still out in the garden? No, he's left. He's run away. Great job taking care of the trash overload into Rokaya Rockside. The tenant household is happy with the prompt response and the unit rating went up. Well, I can't find him now. The unit rating did not go up. We're still only on four stars. I want to find Denzel for that. He has one rule, two rules. He has two rules he has to follow. Is that him? No, that's the maintenance guy. I think I'm gonna go back over to our lot because I don't know what else to do. Jackson, you go on and pull your tooth, buddy. Let's go on and get that over with. But he needs to go work on his mental skill today. That's what he needs to be doing. Poppy, you are gonna be working on the creativity skill today. Austin's already set for the day. We just gotta get Jade situated. She kind of needs to fill out her work reports, so I'm gonna let her go do that. Denzel's still planting plants in our garden. I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna sell them if they're not super useful to us. Look, now Johnny's helping him plant his plants. Do I need to sell these planter boxes? He's taking them all up. Denzel, stop. Oh, it sounds like Johnny got stung by the bees again. Somebody did. Yeah, it was us, it was Johnny. I was hoping it might've been Denzel for a minute. I don't dislike Denzel, but I don't like that he's harvesting my plants, you guys. Stop. He is harvesting my plants. He harvested everything. I got nothing. He's harvested every single thing, including my death flower. Get out of here, Denzel. You guys, I have to figure out a way to lock this. As soon as he leaves, this area is getting locked down. This is not a shared area. I don't like that at all. I'm also selling his plants. I'm selling them, you guys. I don't care if we don't get any money from it. I'm selling them. I'm gonna take a break from that for a minute because it's actually starting to irritate me that he just harvested our plants. What is Johnny doing? It just, it says Johnny became good friends with Nevada. Please tell me Nevada is not in the house. No, it's Pegasus. Pegasus is in the house. How many times am I gonna have to lock this door for pets? Horses are pets, right? That's included. Look, Jade doesn't like it. Pegasus, come back out here before you get stuck. Oh, wait. I've been locking the door for pets. I'm supposed to be locking it for all horses. That's my bad. I've got that fixed now. All right, maybe Jade can 
convince Denzel to get out of our space. Let me hop into build mode and figure out how to lock this and keep Denzel out of it. I did not know that was going to be a problem. Maybe if I make it a room first and then I switch to the fencing. I don't want it to mess up my house though. Maybe that worked. Now I can make this part of my unit not a shared space at all. And then I can replace the walls with the fencing. Okay, we're good. We're good now. Denzel cannot come back into our space. He cannot steal our plants, which is what I feel like happened there. And I'm going to sell his little plants. I mean, he just went on a planting spree. Every open space, he put something down. These plants aren't even in season. Ooh, that's a snowdrop flower. We don't have that. I might keep that one. I am thinking too, we might could invite Nanny Salma over to the lot and maybe Austin could become BFFs with her. I know that might seem a little bit weird, but she was around a lot when he was growing up and he's aging up today and I kind of just wish I could get a few more satisfaction points. I wish I could do the like easy options. Ooh, Vanessa is coming over. Is the welcome wagon finally here? I didn't even realize that, but in the last episode, we didn't even have a welcome wagon. It looks like they may be here now. Wait a second. It says Thimble brought you a postcard from its grand adventure. This little rodent traveled an awfully long way. What? Who, who did it give a postcard to? Nobody. Nobody got a postcard. What does that mean? That's weird. And where did Thimble go? I think we have managed to confuse Denzel by locking him out. He's just stood in the same spot where Jade left him. He has not moved at all. He's like, all my plants are in there. How am I going to get them? They're not in there anymore, Denzel. I sold them. Oh, Nanny Salma's here, but she just went upstairs. Let's go be BFFs with her. Let's become best friends with our nanny. I mean, I kind of feel bad that he's going to be besties with the nanny, but we didn't make any other good friends. Alakai turned out to hate children in the end. Johnny is getting a phone call from Marcus wanting me to come and hang out, but I'm not going to. We're going to invite him to the birthday party, of course, which Johnny might should actually go inside and start cooking a cake for us, maybe. I wonder if we might get Jade to eavesdrop on Nanny Salma. Oh, we can. We can. I finally found it. Okay, guys, it's under gossip. She can kind of listen in a little bit. It says Jade has discovered that Nanny Salma has this secret crummy friend. We just became best friends with her and she's a crummy friend. That one is not hard to figure out what that means. That's so bad. Oh no. I feel like that means Nanny Salma is going to break our heart. Oh, you know what? We can actually eavesdrop on a lot of people at the party tonight for Austin's birthday. We're going to invite a lot of people over and Jade can do some snooping. All right, what does Austin need to do now? He needs to become friends with three other children, become friends with two adults, and achieve level 10 social skill. That is probably not going to happen. So I feel like we're going to move on. I think Austin is done. He's ready to age up. We'll go on and get the party started, you guys. Johnny, did you finish the cake? Yes, he did. Okay, let's go add some birthday candles. You know what? While we're waiting on the party, I'm going to go let Johnny do a little bit of inspection and maintenance on our water heater and our fuse box just to keep it top notch. Oh, he's saying he can't. Hold on. I just now realized I haven't been into the basement yet. Oh, I bet it's because I blocked it off with this plant here. No, it looks so good like that. Could we just turn it like that maybe? Oh, no, that messes up my fence. Oh, it works though. So look, Vanessa is still outside. She's just laid the fruit cake down, but I never got a notification that the welcome wagon was officially here. So I, you know, I didn't worry about it. I don't think it would have let me start the birthday party if it, if the welcome wagon was here. I don't know. She's still standing outside though. So far, nobody is here but Marcus. Of course, Marcus is here. Yes, he always shows up. Oh, we have the option for something called Tomering Truth. I don't know what that means. It's under the gossip category. It kind of just looked like the gossip interaction. It says time for a Tomering Truth. Money can get tight, but we make it work. Renting out the space below doesn't always cover everything, which is why I'm also a barista. I told Zafira not to worry about helping with bills, but she seems to really enjoy babysitting. I'm concerned it's because she can snoop around people's houses while the kids are napping, but I'm too afraid to ask. Plus, I like when she buys me lunch from time to time, you guys. Apparently, a Tomerang truth means you get all the juicy gossip 
from the other Sims. This is so much better than snooping for secrets. So we know a little bit more about Vanessa. Okay, so money is tight. Zavira is having to babysit. Wow, all right, let's try to eavesdrop over here. I wonder if we could have a Tomering Truth with Marcus. It doesn't always show up though. It's not showing up for everyone. Do you have to be from Tom Rank for it to show up? It's not actually giving me a lot of opportunities to eavesdrop on Sims today during the birthday party. I really was hoping it would. And there's plenty of people having conversations, but it's just not giving me that option. Oh, here we go. Okay, I finally got it. We're gonna eavesdrop on Marcus. Jackson is so close to finishing his first aspiration. And this is his official aspiration, so then he can just rack up satisfaction points like Austin did. Yes, he's done. He reached mental level six. So Jackson has achieved his childhood dream of honing both mind and body to work together. He earned the headstrong trait. Focused and confident moodlets will last longer? But he has finished his aspiration, you guys. I think he still has over a week left as a kid. He's got nine days left. So he can just do whatever. I do want him to get more satisfaction points, but he's mainly done. He's doing so good. What else should we let him do? He could be a playtime captain. I feel like that's very Jackson. I feel like he likes to play more than he likes to study, honestly. So let's do that. And we have discovered a secret about Marcus. You guys, I don't know if I'm ready for this. It says abandoned sneaky. Once again, I'm not totally sure what that means. I don't know, but we will keep Marcus's secret. Of course we will. Oh, for playtime captain, we actually need to stomp playfully on a splash pad, and that's going to be difficult right now. Oh, I like this one. We can play pretend in a tree house, which means we could build a tree house together, which I think would be fun. Oh, wow. This is what Jade is doing as she's eavesdropping on Marcus and this whole group. Like, that's very obvious. She's just sat down in the floor. Is she pretending to play marbles or what are we doing there i think austin could go on and blow his candles out let's just go on and do it i kind of am nervous about aging him up because he's our first kid of the whole family but let's blow out candles for austin let me just double check that it is his birthday yes it is okay i don't want to age them up too early oh jade's gotten embarrassed maybe she got caught eavesdropping because she was being very obvious about it oh she's mad <gasps> Oh no, she's mad at Johnny. It feels like it has been forever since Jade has been romantic with her partner. It could be paranoia, it could be anxiety or a gut feeling, but Jade can't help but wonder what her partner is up to or who they are seeing behind her back. I'm sorry, Johnny has never been unfaithful to Jade. He's never flirted with anyone else. Jade, on the other hand, has had a few flirtatious moments, but she is very angry. To be fair to her though, Johnny apparently just accused her of cheating. So she's gotten quite angry. So there we go. It also says flirty spouse, but I know Johnny is not out there flirting. Johnny is angry as well, you guys. Oh wait, he is flirty. He's got a rose. You guys, I've missed all the drama. I got distracted. What is happening out here? Johnny has a rose. Did Marcus give us a rose? I don't even understand what's happening right now. But Johnny is angry. It says something a cheater would say. It's easy to blow someone off with empty dismissals, but Johnny knows the truth. Or maybe he just fears the truth and is trying hard to make it true. Okay, let's see who gave Johnny the rose. I think it was Marcus, you guys. What on earth? Now he's wanting to lie about his career to Rin. He literally wants to lie about his career all the time. It's so weird. We need to go watch Austin age up. Oh, I've missed it, you guys. He's aged up. He's he's blown out his candles. Why is he going into the basement to age up? He is. He's gone down into the basement so that he can actually age up. Nope, we're coming back up the ladder. This is a weird birthday. Well, that took a very weird turn, but Austin has officially aged up. It says that he earned a bonus trait. High self-esteem. Okay, yes. Good job, Austin. And he is officially a teenager. So his current trait is that he's a genius. I'm going to randomize and see what his second trait is going to be. Hopefully something good. We just left Chestnut Ridge. We just left that world behind and Austin is a rancher, you guys. What? I have no idea how I, I feel about that, but we could actually give him the championship rider. 
Aspiration, I guess we could do that for right now. I kind of want to give him the Fount of Tomarini knowledge aspiration, you guys, because we're in the new world and I kind of would like to explore it. Plus the championship rider, he can start training Nevada and maybe do a few horse competitions and stuff. If he wants to be a rancher, I cannot believe he wants to be a rancher right after we left Chestnut Ridge. That's so weird. But there we go. Austin is a teenager. Oh, he looks like a teenager. What? Okay, we got to go give him a makeover. I just never am here for the randomly generated clothes. I think Johnny is trying to calm down. No, he's got to go to the bathroom. He also needs to calm down from the fight that they just had. All right, let's jump over here here to Austin Zest the teenager. Look at him. He looks completely different. Do we leave the long hair? I don't know if I like the long hair. He's always kind of had curls. We need something with a little bit of curls. We have this hair from Cats and Dogs. I think I'm going to go with that. That kind of looks more like his hair through the years. Now I've got to update his party look a little bit. I don't like these pants, but I guess I can let him keep his cowboy boots since he's decided he wants to be a rancher. All right, you guys, there is the new party look. I know it's a little bit laid back, but here's my reasoning. If he is going to be a rancher or that's one of his traits, he's not actually going to be a rancher. But if that is one of his traits i kind of want to go for a more laid back vibe there that's my reasoning i honestly don't even know how to dress him at this point i think i'm gonna go with this for his everyday outfit we're just gonna go for a simple full body outfit for his formal wear he looks to me like he might would be quite athletic as well so i'm gonna give him this outfit that's that feels questionable let's see maybe if we change his shorts Maybe, is that a good athletic wear look? I don't know, but that's what we're going with. There's his little sleepwear. And there's his swimwear. I think there's the hot weather outfit. We got a little basketball jersey. I don't know why. Like I said, I just feel like he's going to be a sporty guy. I got to get them another treadmill. And here is his cold weather outfit. So he is done. He's good to go. His makeover is over. It still feels really weird for me to look at him as a teen. I can't believe he's aging up. So let's take a look at little all. Austin. He's not little anymore, you guys. I actually love his party look. Can I just say this one is my favorite? He has class tomorrow morning. He needs to go do his homework. But for his aspiration... So he needs to leave fruit or incense at a spirit house. We actually have one of those on our lot. So that should be pretty easy. Use the Tomarani introduction. That's easy. Meet a sim with the child of the village personality trait. Okay, that might be more difficult and use a squat toilet. We might can do that as we're kind of going about town. We don't actually have one of those on the lot, but we might can figure all that out. That's not too bad. I feel pretty good about this. How long is he gonna be a teen? 21 days, yes. 21 days is a good amount of time. Okay, cool. Austin is a teen. Let's see if he could invite Zephira over. He did meet her the other day. I think I'm gonna end the birthday party because I mean, it's over. I've got to focus on Johnny and Jade now because they are both pretty mad. At least Jade is. She's very angry. She was going to go yell at our unicorn. Does taking a bubble bath help you calm down when you're really angry? Oh, we can try to calm down. Let's do that. And then let's take a bath and just chill out a little bit. And then Johnny, he's very tense. I cannot believe I missed all that drama. It says, what have I done from loyal sim cheating on partner? What has Johnny done? Trust is easy to break, but hard to fix. Only confessing will help alleviate his guilt. That means he's got to go tell Jade that he cheated on her. Why would Johnny cheat on Jade? She was the one who was flirty all the time. Well, Zavira is here at least. Austin has a friend. Oh, we've learned that she's nosy. We can do the Tomarin truth on her as well. Let's find out a little bit more about her. Oh, Zavira has a sentiment towards Austin. Uh, I don't really understand those if I'm going to be honest. So I don't know about that. But he learned that she's a high school student. Of course, she's a babysitter. And here is her Tomarin truth. It's not a secret that her parents died. However, it is a secret that Vanessa gave up becoming a DJ to take care of me. Vanessa is not her mother. I don't think she knows. That I know it's really strange to watch someone completely up in their entire life just to accommodate you. You guys, they are so sweet. I didn't realize that when we met them 
the other day. She is not having it. No way. She is not happy at all. Can we apologize to her? I feel like we should apologize. Attempt to rebuild trust. Yes, let's do it. They now despise each other, you guys. No, 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 no. Okay, guys, I feel like I'm just gonna have to let Jade calm down right now. She is not interested in rebuilding trust. I cannot believe that that happened. That's so sad. I don't know what to do. Poor Alston is cleaning up after the party. We have never had this much drama in the family. Actually, you know what? He's not cleaning up. He was eating. But I think he could come out here and leave some fruit at the spirit house. That's what it's called. We'll leave a little bit of fruit and then he probably can go do his homework and go to bed. It appears that Jade has calmed down a little bit from the anger, but she is still very sad. I think she's crying in her sleep. Alston is just sat here doing his homework in the kitchen floor, even though there is a perfectly good table right there that none of them will use. Use. But it's so sad. He just aged up. He had a good birthday, but his parents despise each other now. After all, everything we've been through with jade flirting with other people i cannot believe this has happened today johnny is in a great mood considering his marriage is in a very bad place right now look at him he could not be happier i still don't even know who he cheated with would it tell me maybe it just says betrayed by cheating infidelity has soured jade's feelings for johnny jade may find that being around johnny brings back bad memories about what happened guys this does not look good it says terrible match it's probably best to stay apart there's a lot of dislike here like a lot i'm honestly so sad you guys there's centaur well he just appeared and he's just asleep right there in the plant i don't know if you guys can see that but he's just he's half in the house half out the house okay that's weird johnny's heading off to bed but look you guys denzel really is stuck at this point look at him he's been out here all day it's 2 a.m and he's still chilling out there so i think we broke him Maybe when we reload, he will be free again. Jade's sadness is three days worth of sadness, you guys. I don't know how else to say that. I don't know what else to call it. I've bought her a yoga mat so that she can come out here and do a little bit of I don't know what. She just needs to do a little bit of yoga. Let's just practice yoga. Johnny is sad. He has woken up very sad. He's crying, but it's his own fault. I can't even feel sorry for him as much as I love Johnny. What does he need to do today? I feel like mainly he needs to stay away from Jade. I also got them a treadmill. He could come down here and work out a little bit. Okay, I guess... Jackson needs to come work on his creativity skill a little bit before he goes to school. Hopefully they have both done their homework. Yes, they have. And Poppy is up and Adam as well. I'm going to let her practice the violin a little bit to work on her creativity. Oh my gosh, Jade is freezing to death. Red alert, Jade is freezing to death. This episode is a disaster. Go inside, stop what you're doing and go inside. You are blue. Oh, and now she dislikes wellness. Oh my goodness, okay, I get it. I mean, you nearly died on the yoga mat. There, now she's in her warm weather clothes. She's fine. Can she go back out there now that we have our warm clothes on or is she gonna change clothes? Oh, she is, she's changing her clothes. You cannot do that. You're gonna freeze to death again, Jade, stop. She has work today, I think. Yeah, work in three hours, but she has a little bit of time before then. Oh, Vanessa is at the door. Okay, we could chat with her a little bit. School starts for all the kids in about an hour. Yeah, there's Denzel. He's still there, you guys. He's still stuck. Oh, Pegasus is actually playing with her ball. I'm so proud of her. What? Poppy just reached creativity level 10, you guys. Good job, Poppy. She still has to play instruments for three more hours, though. I feel like it's not giving her credit for all this time she spent playing the violin. Okay, Jade has left Vanisha. She is up here crying under the covers because she is so sad. I just wish there was something I could do to help them. But look at that. They despise each other you guys that is not even a joke there is nothing friendly about them you know what i think johnny should actually go give jade a gift and all the kids are off to school which means jade should have work pretty soon i don't know why she's going back upstairs to receive this gift okay she seems like she likes it she seems okay with that yeah she's giving it a thumbs up I think that's it for today's episode though, you guys. We have had a lot of drama. I did not expect any of that to happen. I still don't even know for sure who flirted with Johnny or who he flirted with. I don't 
I don't know what happened. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comments if you think Johnny and Jade should try to repair their relationship or if they should just call it quits. I'm interested to know what you guys want to happen. Let me know. I always love hearing from you guys and I will talk to you soon with another episode. But that is all for today. So bye guys.